there everyone. Uh, welcome to my new series, The Survival Experiment. So we have this enclosed compound and I do have the gates still here because I am waiting uh, to see if the welcome wagon is going to come and uh, I'm hoping to have them come inside here and maybe we can use them in our let's play as well but anyways um, we have eight sims uh, down here we have eight sims that and as you would have seen from the uh, beginning opening uh, who they all are we have eight sims that are agreed to be in this challenge uh, Scientists wanted to see if eight sims could survive on in a closed compound with nothing but this used to be a um, a landfill so there's not a whole lot of junk left but uh, the dumpsters were left and so some people have dropped off some old appliances which we will probably use uh, in uh, building our world. So the goal of this challenge is to have a little town in here. So these sims are going to uh, basically go from nothing to building eight little houses, a community center, a park, and mm, not sure, maybe maybe something else I'm not sure what we're all gonna put in here but the main goal is eight houses and a community center and a park so this is gonna look like a really nice little area these gates are locked so these sims cannot leave so we have um, our eight sims and they have come from pretty high level careers so we have Kaylee Cornett, so she, this is our Kaylee here, who is really hungry. <laughs> um, she is an artist, so she her skill level in art is fairly high. Um, let's see. It's level 8, so, so she's got a ways to go before she masters it. But um, each sim is going to make money by using either this mail slot here which is going to be the only way that they can interact with the world outside is um, if they can have anything go through the mail slot or a computer so that is going to be their means of income as well as the dumpsters here but the thing with the dumpsters here I couldn't have them live and still control like I couldn't have them live on a generic lot and keep this as a landfill so so once these dumpsters are empty then it will take a while to fill them up again as the sims use household garbage and stuff like that so so we will extract as much as we can out of these dumpsters as we can but once once we are once they're empty then it'll be very slow to get stuff out of them so hopefully we'll get everything that we need like we'll, we'll need a computer um, we'll need, like, of course, bathroom fixtures. We will eventually need more sinks and fridges for each of the houses, um, furniture, and uh, that brings us to our Sims again. So we have Nathan Churchill. Where is he? All right, this is Nathan. So he is a writer, so his main job is to write books so he has a few books he's won a few awards for the books so he will still be getting royalties from that because they can send that to him through the mail so he will still be getting some royalties so um, that'll be good and then we have uh, Natasha Barnes that's this lady here she oh she isn't she is an engineer a robotics engineer so she is level seven in her career but she she can actually work from home so as long as she doesn't have to go to work as long as she can get these things done she can still stay as a robotics um, engineer 
So her goal, every, every sim here has something to contribute. So um, if we can make things to sell or she can do programming and, um, and do remote computer stuff. So that's kind of how she will be earning some money. And then we have Piper, oops, who is a musician. So that is our rocker chick here. So Piper is a musician. So she is level eight musician. And so she will be able to write songs to sell or jingles or whatever. Like that's how she can make money. Um, she won't be able to busk or anything like that. So she'll have to solely uh, rely on on uh, on writing music and sending in sending it in for for money. But she also can play instruments, so she can maybe entertain our group of people here. And then we have um, Brianna Slade. Oh, we can't see her here. Let's see if we can get a. <laughs> our fence is in the way. This is Brianna right over here. She is our chef. So she is a level seven chef. So she can make quite a few things and there's less chance of things going wrong when she cooks. So we're going to have her be the main chef for the, for the little town here. And then we have Elliot Caldwell. So he was back here. Now, where is he? Okay, this is Elliot. He is our gardener farmer. So he is going to be in charge of growing plants and and uh, farming animals once we get um, some money to to purchase some. And anything that they do purchase will be helicoptered in and flown in so that uh, because they cannot leave the lot. But they can purchase things from the Build Buy store. That's different in this let's play than my other ones so yeah he will be able to farm the animals and and uh, get money from whatever that means as long as it can either be through computer or the mail so he might have a plopsy store that he sells canning I don't know if you can sell canning through plopsy I'm not sure how that's gonna go but then we have Thomas Lowe, and he is our <laughs> civil designer. So he is the one that is going to be able to take our junk and turn it into usable furniture because he has the Ecomatic Smog Vacuum. So, so yeah, he is able to um, turn our trash into treasure <laughs> and, uh, yeah, make it so that we can actually use the things that we find in the dump. And then finally we have Dax who is a professional athlete and he is a level six pro athlete. So he, he didn't quite gain as much skill, but he um, is basically going to be fixing things and um, kind of being our uh, mechanic and anything that needs doing he's just gonna be around to kind of help out he did have a big beard when I started when I was working these sims to get their career levels up because I didn't want to cheat them in because I wanted them to get the the uh, bonuses from their job but he did have a beard but he decided to shave it off himself so that's kind of a nice thing that that I like about the Sims now is that they can either grow a beard themselves or they can shave it off if they like. It doesn't have to be controlled by me, but and uh, as you can see, Thomas here, he's decided to grow his beard. <laughs> Anyways, so these are our eight Sims and they each have unique th unique jobs to do in the compound. So the first thing that we will need to do is we will need to like find all our necessities. So we'll get them started on the dumpster diving. And one thing that I did want to do is I wanted them to keep all the things that they got from their employee 
equipment. So they are starting off with a little bit of an advantage. Um, they have done a little bit of dumpster diving already, so uh, we'll just put this. I wanted to have a roof where they could come out of the rain because, yeah, it does tend to rain a lot, and so they needed a little bit of shelter. So they did find some things in the dumpster, so we'll just let them use it and we'll, we'll maybe... Um, I don't know, this little table must be a side table. Uh, we'll let them use it and uh, just to start off, because we have, we have some things. So we have some seeds to start with. We have a planter box. So I think our garden farm area is going to be over here. So we'll just start that over there. Uh, we need some surfaces. We do have a flower arranging table. That was part of... Elliot's uh, job as a gardener. He was a flower arranger, so he can make flower arrangements and sell them on Plopsy. Uh, we do have a bathtub here, so I'm going to just stick this over here by the bush, which is our toilet. We don't have a toilet yet, but um, this bathtub they found in the dumpster when uh, um, when Thomas was looking for things for his job, so he did find a few things in the dumpster already. So we have this rug, which belongs to um, Nathan because he uh, won an award for his some of his writing. So he also has his uh, Starlight Accolade there award. Um, let's see what else can we grab out of here. Like we've got some books. I mean, it'll help with with their mood, I guess, in a, in a sense. So I don't know if we have... Oh, yeah, we have some countertops from the culinary skills. So we'll just set that up here. And uh, I guess we have our coffee maker that she also got from the culinary career. We have a light, so I don't know if this is even going to go. I don't think that's going to work yet. Once we have some walls, we'll we'll put some of this stuff up. So we've got like some lights and some paintings, some things to hang on the wall. Uh, we have this music trophy from Piper's job, and yeah, we've got some little things. So we do have the um, fabricator from Thomas's job, so he can do some fabricating. He also got the rain collector, so that might help with our bills, because we still do have to pay the bills. Uh, someone did find a bed in the dumpster, so we will just kind of put that out. We'll kind of organize things a little bit more once once we have um, established spaces and stuff like that. So I was pretty sure that Kaylee had an easel here, but I guess she doesn't. We do have a piano that Piper uh, uh, hat received. Uh, there's this plant. Uh, some more wall things. Okay, we have some more art things. I think I'll move this over here. Um, this bed looks kind of strange. It looks really small. Or maybe it's a couch. What is it? I'm not sure. Uh, I guess we have <laughs> some teddy bears to take some aggression out on. I know Kaylee gets angry. She is um, high maintenance, so she gets angry very easy. Uh, there's a sprinkler for our garden, which Nathan, not Nathan, uh, Elliot got from his job. So it looks like the rest, besides this chair, um... The rest of the items are more for on a wall or a table, which we don't have. Uh, let's see, there's another vase. I'll just I think these have to set on a wall, so we have trophy things, bonsai plant, also one of Elliot's prizes. Some racks, and then uh, there is this research machine from the writer career. Or can we do writing on this one? Oh, we can do video gaming program. Okay, so this is a computer. So we do have actually a computer. So we just need a stool to sit on. 
So the rest of these will wait till we have some walls and ceilings. But yeah, we don't have a whole lot to start with. We do have the a couple of stoves here. And one thing I forgot to mention about this lot is it has every curse on it. So it is an extremely cursed property. I'm going to put this fridge right here. Um, I know there's another stove and another fridge here. Maybe we'll keep the black ones and just put these maybe over here. Alright, so there is another fridge over here. Pink one. So we've got a little bit of a start, so they should be able to make food and sleep go to the bathroom they have nothing to wash up with oh yeah they do have the bathtub but uh, yeah so I think we've got everything that we need to start with but now the goal is to start making some money with our our um, job skills and and uh, whatever skills so I think we're gonna transplant all these trash plants the trash plants might come in handy for um, recycling so I'm just gonna move all the trash plants into one spot once I have them moved I'll come back and just so you don't have to watch me move these all Okay, so we have all the trash plants moved. I'm not sure why some stayed above ground and some did not. But um, I think... Okay, we've got this stereo here too, so they can have some fun with that. Not sure where it's going to go. I guess just under here somewhere so it doesn't get wet. And that's the seed packet that will get Elliot to... to um, to open. Okay, so <coughs> excuse me. So yeah, their their needs are pretty low right now, but we'll we'll start by getting them to dive for deals here. We yeah. And hopefully we'll get I guess we'll just get them to do that and then we'll get um Dax to fix some things. And maybe, oh, I should go through all the curses that are on this land. Once we get them all going here. So we'll just line them up here. Hopefully they can find some good things. And uh, we will need, once we gain enough money, we will need a um, recycle machine. Like the... Yeah. Um, and we will need some other things. Of course, we'll need like places to sit for the computer and stuff like that. Eventually, we will uh, get them all to part of our um, community center. I think we'll have a gym and stuff so that they can stay fit. And one of the rules that I didn't mention before as well is if somebody happens to die on the property, which is a real possibility, um, we will have to we will have to have children with somebody. We'll have to get um, two people together to have a child to replace the one that is gone. So we're going to have a little cemetery as well for anybody who does pass away and uh, we'll just have like a little area for them and okay so we're, we're off to a good start it looks like we're finding tables and and stuff like that so I'm just going to take you in and show you what the lot traits are so it's a residential and we have 13 curses on here so we've got the creepy crawlies We've got Cursed, Filthy, Gremlins, Grody. I was kind of sad that we couldn't have the landfill lot, so it's um, not available for residential. And, and uh, having a generic site, I could, it would work, 
we could live here, but we could not take uh, the items out of our inventory, like out of here. We couldn't take them out of here and and put them into the world. So that was kind of a bummer. So it had to be a residential. So that's why these will eventually run out. But anyways, we, we're off the grid, so we've got no power. So the best thing we can do is have any off-grid fridges and stoves, which I don't think any of these are. But for some reason, our lot is um, generating some energy, which I'm not sure why it's doing that. So, because we don't have, on the roof of this, I don't believe this is, no, this isn't the solar panel, so, so yeah, I don't know why this lot is generating energy. But, uh, yeah, we have simple living, so that means everything that we eat, we have to either grow or get delivered, and we might be able to work something out if we get a delivery, we may be able to have them leave it here and just have it be tossed in. We'll just pretend that it goes through the mail slot. Um, and then it's spooky and there's a volcanic volcanic activity. So that is not good because at any moment um, meteors could crash into any of our things and cause a lot of damage, fires, whatever. And then we have wild foxes, which I don't think, as you can see, there's a fox here, but they can't really get in, so so it's not really a problem that way. But but all the all the things, all the curses that I could use are there. And then I wanted to have like the positive traits. So we have bracing breezes, so um, it just is good for exercise. We've got geothermal, so natural heating. Um, Oh, that's where it is. It's generating power and keeps pools warm. So that's, that's I guess, where we're getting some extra power. But it gets used up very quickly the more things that use electricity on our lot. And then we have great soil for the gardening. So those are the traits of the lot. And, yeah, so we've got, we've already got uh, two tables, which we're going to need. I thought Kaylee had an easel, but she doesn't, so we will have to buy her an easel once we have enough money to pay for one. Uh, we have a chair. We do have another bathtub, so as soon as we can get some privacy, maybe we'll put this on the other end, because I know they have to be a certain distance away from each, from where everybody is before they'll actually feel comfortable enough to get in it. Uh, we did find a couch, so uh, Thomas can can uh, get that to be, he can revive that, I guess, restore it, <laughs> is the word I'm looking for. Okay, so we'll let them continue with that, and I am hoping that the welcome wagon is going to come by. I left the gate here, I think it's locked. Okay, we didn't lock it, but it's supposed to be locked for everybody so they can't get out. So if the welcome wagon happens to come by, then then we will let them in and maybe we can they can join our um, experiment. Except I won't be able to control them, so whatever happens to them happens to them while they're locked in here. So I'm kind of hoping they'll come by if there's even neighbors in this area. So, okay, it looks like they're kind of done with the dumpsters for now. Um, so yeah, we've got quite a few things already for them to work on. So we'll get Dax to come and fix the stove, repair that, and the fridge. So at least they can get some things out of the fridge. Um, we've got our our uh, cupboard pretty used up. Um, okay, so they're busy mopping and stuff. And you, I don't know if you have enough. No, you don't. So we're going to have to get a recycle machine might be the first thing that we have to get. We'll have to get something that we can restore these because we don't have enough um, bits and pieces. So maybe we can find some in the dumpster. So why don't we sort out compostables and sort out recyclables. Uh, I don't know if we'll get bits and 
pieces out of that, but at least we can start. So, and we'll get you to come and throw away all of this garbage so it doesn't turn into more garbage plants because we really don't need any more garbage plants. Um, okay, and then we also need... Okay, we don't need that. <laughs> we'll need Dax to fix... I mean, we do have two other people that do fix things, so we have Thomas does know how to fix things. I don't know what happened to... Oh, this one is... Uh, okay, what happened to... Oh yeah, we put it over here. So this one probably needs... Oh, both of these don't need fixing? That's unusual. Um, we'll get you to repair that. I don't know, did you get some pieces? Uh, yes, you do have some, so we might as well repair this. And we will get the cross-stitch and the um, knitting basket as well, just so that they have more things that they can um, that they can do to sell. Alright, so what else needs to be fixed? So yeah, Dax and Thomas uh, know how to fix things, and Natasha as well. She knows how to fix things as well. So why don't we get her to repair these two things? Oh, this one isn't broken, so that must have been fixed by somebody else. Um, okay, so Elliot, he has a lot of produce in his inventory. We let him keep that, so so we have some produce that we can right away plant. Plus there was that seed packet that we'll get him to open up. Okay, so what did you get? You got daisies. So that might come in handy. Um, okay, so this is what goes on here. So we <laughs> have a fire and I don't know why the fridge is on fire but looks like Kaylee and Elliot are putting it out. <laughs> so I don't know what happened there but with being a cursed lot um, I did a little test play to see if it, this was even feasible and yes deaths can happen quite easily. Sims can die from fire, they can die from all kinds of things, embarrassment, um, anger. Um, Natasha right now is having spiders all over her, which is kind of <laughs> horrible. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Nobody... Oh, plumbing doesn't work. So this one doesn't even work off the grid. Uh, does this one? No, this one doesn't either, so... That's what I thought the geothermal was going to give us water. So we'll have to wait till this fills up before we can actually have some water. Uh, so they'll have to stay dirty. So hopefully they won't get too too bad. Um, okay, Dax is dazed. Uh, why don't we get Natasha to work on this uh, and try see if she can't get this fixed. All right, everybody is dirty from something. Probably dumpster diving. So, did we find anything else? I know we didn't check the inventory um, for anything else. No, they didn't get anything else. So, we will get um, we'll get Nathan to <coughs> die for deals. We'll get whoever can. So, Piper earned 910. So we do have some money. Alright. Uh, we will get a... I think the first thing we'll get is the recycle machine. So... So yeah, they do have jobs. I will maybe get them to quit their jobs at some point. Just so that we're not making so much money. But, I mean, once the bills come and stuff, we may need we may need to use every penny we get, so we're not going to turn it off just yet. Okay, so how much is the machine here? So let's just go with a blue one here. So we have that, and that used up pretty much all our money. 
So then we will get, okay, Thomas is asleep in the bed. So they're going to have to take turns sleeping. <laughs> Uh, once he's awake, then he can start recycling stuff. Kaylee is very hungry. So is this... Uh, let's see. Let's... Actually, let's get... I don't know what happened there. Let's get you to cook us some salad. Uh, if we can. We might need to put the... No, we have to get all the vegetables that Nathan has into the fridge. Uh, let's see, we got spinach, although we kind of wanted some for planting. So let's uh, open this. Let's just grab one of these for planting. Anything that has one in, I'll know that that's for planting. Okay, so we've got that. What else do we have? We have two of these, so let's just grab one of those, put it in the fridge. Um, I think we'll put those in the fridge, but we'll keep one out. Okay, so we have some fruit. Uh, put that in the fridge, and then we'll keep one out for the plant planting. So we'll start with that. We'll get um, Brianna to... Uh, cook us some fruit salad or some regular salad. Alright, so we'll just do a party size. And we'll get that going. It would be nice to have a fridge that we can add ice to. So, as you can see, we are using up a whole lot of energy um, already. And I'm thinking, do we have bills already? Oh yes, we do have bills. We have $2,000 in bills. So I'm not sure how that's going to work with the with the utilities yet. Or if the repo people can even come. So far there has been no welcome wagon. So we'll just keep waiting here. Oh, I missed two garbage plants. Or trash plants. Okay, so why don't you harvest all of these. Or you could tend them. Yeah, I wish that didn't give us a notification every time. Okay, so we've got food, so everybody can kind of help themselves to that. We'll just get, I think they'll just come and help themselves. And, yeah, so it might be a while before. Let's see, who's not busy? You're not busy, so why don't you die for deals? Just to get some. Okay, you're awake, so what? Um, not feeling the song. Just sure, whatever. Uh, we'll put this in your inf inventory because we need things to recycle. Let's get you to put all these piles in your inventory. And then we'll get you to dive for deals. I think you actually enjoy diving for deals. So we definitely need a shower that we can use, like hopefully a portable one that we can use off the grid. Uh, stoves and fridge. Oh, this fridge seems to be... Does it work off the grid? No, it doesn't work off the grid, but... Um, we should probably put that in there. I think it's getting some energy from the lot trait. Uh, why don't you put that in your inventory? And then there was a couple over here. Uh, scavenge for parts. Okay, Kaylee just wet herself, so... <laughs> um, I mean, there is a bush here. Is somebody sleeping in the bush? No. Okay, Nath or, uh, Elliot's taking his turn in the bed. <laughs> this is... Really bad circumstances already. Um, so I guess, uh, can you, why don't you, once you're done eating, we'll get you to recycle from inventory. So we will grab all those compost piles. If we can get that couch, mm, I kind of need that desk. 
that. So we'll leave that. Um, piles of discarded food and recycled trash piles. So we'll get him to recycle those. We need the desk for the computer because then they can start making money from, from that. Okay, it looks like it's Natasha's turn. Okay, why are these people wetting their pants? Because <laughs> there is a bush. Uh, I don't know. Um. Okay, did you recycle that? Okay, you can do this one. I don't know what this is. And you could do this one. Okay, we badly need a shower. Okay, so whatever this is, they'll be able to either sit on it or nap on it or whatever. I have a feeling it's just a couch type thing. And what is Piper? I mean, did we... Did Nathan find anything in the dumpster? Did they find anything new? Okay, we have another bed. That's good. Um, I kind of want it underneath the roof and this desk, of course. So we'll just throw that in there. But nothing else of use. Okay. Everybody's so dirty. We really need to find a sink or a usable shower. So why don't you come and dive for deals? Alright, so so far we have very uncomfortable people and <laughs> the first day of uh, being on this lot is not great. We have $69, so um, yeah, we're going to get you to not bond with the flies. We're going to get you to die for deals. Um, for as long as you can. We really need to find some more things. I guess, <laughs> I guess, uh, if we have enough ingredient or, uh, supplies, we can do some furniture. Uh, we should do the bookshelf. Uh, there's chairs. I guess we've got a table we can do. Dining chair and lamp. So, um, what should we do first? I think I will do the bookshelf because we do have quite a few books in our inventories. So we'll do a red bookshelf. Let's see, we found a desk chair. That's good, so we'll have something to sit on. Did we find anything else? Desk chair, dies. Nothing. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, Thomas can create some furniture as well, so. But he can't create all the things that we need, so. Perfect tub, okay. But. Can you use it off the grid is the question. Um, okay, you're still... If we could find the shower that works off the grid. That would be ideal. Are you at least going to the bush? No, you're getting more coffee. Okay, who's sleeping in here? Get out of here. Okay, we need to get you... Nope, too late. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. Hopefully nobody will die of embarrassment. Uh, okay. We can sleep in the dumpsters. Okay, we'll just... Why are you watering the trash plant? We have so many trash plants. Just finding useless things. Um... Instead of watering, why don't you die for deals here? Because we really, really need showers and bathtubs. I guess we could get the woodworking table and try and do that from there. Let's get you uh, diving for deals. Everybody needs a shower so bad. 
I know you can die of embarrassment, so hopefully they won't. Oh, how's this working? And the bathtub's not. Upgrade. I wonder if you can upgrade it to a water recycler. Did you... Okay, what are we all finding here? Okay, we do have a stool for the counter now, so that would work too. Um, plants. Lots of plants. Uh, that is a sofa. Good. Okay, so... <laughs> Why did you wet yourself? Like, is nobody using this? Let's just see. Maybe we'll have to make you use it. You can use it. Okay, we found another bed. That's great. Okay, so you're embarrassed. Um, can you do this yet? No. Let's go grab these piles so we can uh, recycle them. So that we don't end up... <laughs> we got everybody dumpster diving. We've got a lot of things, but not a whole lot of useful things. So we're still looking for that place to clean up. Even a sink would be preferable. But I think I'm going to leave this here and... So this doesn't get too long. I'm going to leave this here and we will um, come back next time and hopefully we'll make some more progress. So I hope you enjoy this series, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.